Hey, this is Gabe. Welcome back to another video. Um, in this video, I'm actually going to be in the video, so you can see that's actually me. Uh, no, not really. Uh, I've gotten a few questions uh, over the years about selling tips, pricing, and so forth. So I figure I would just share what limited knowledge I have of doing that because it's been several years since I have sold any pens. Um, but that was pre-back surgery back in uh, 2017, so five years. Actually, almost, yeah, five years. Well, we're just rolling into the new year, so. Well, Happy New Year uh, for those uh, watching. We're 2023, January 5th. Uh, six, actually. Um, so anyway, this is my typical setup. I would have one table, maybe sometimes two. I would have a side table of miscellaneous stuff like this. Uh, my favorite uh, draw is cigar boxes. Not that I smoke. One, because when someone's walking by, they're going to see these cigar boxes. And with these red liners, you know, they see that and then think, oh, cigars. Well, this is a really cool farmer's market. No, so bait and switch, actually. So I like these because, like I said, first thing is there, it makes it easy for packing. Second thing, keeps them nice and neat. Keeps them uh, damage free from banging into one another. And uh, it holds various different sizes. You know, uh, those are 50 caliber pens. Uh, all the way down to your uh, Sierras and your uh, smaller uh, little pens like this. Uh, one of the other things that I would suggest is if you're going to use a six foot table and your table is dirty, put a tablecloth on it. Um, it's a nice presentation. People like clean. Another thing, uh, I like to put flags out on a piece of wood. You know, people like uh, patriotism, so they, they want to be able to they don't want to see it or they want to see it but it's uh it's just it's just friendlier my personal opinion uh if you do wine bottle stoppers and i have quite a few have a bottle of wine so you can show what they are because if they're just walking by they see this they're not going to know what it is have a bottle of wine that actually shows how it would work you know, even though most people, when they open a bottle of wine, they usually kill it. Uh, so uh, that's one thing I found. I turned a whole bunch of these. They make good gifts otherwise. Uh, so they're not really, um, really high sellers, but uh, it's good to have that as an option. And um, one, when it comes to like steampunk pens, done a lot of steampunk pens over the years uh, I like to have a blank to be able to show what the process is of making a steampunk pen so that when the customer sees a pen it looks like something okay well it looks really cool but they don't know if it's it's a decal underneath and, uh, or if it's formed or stamped or what, but if you show them what the process is and they, they can see through the layers of how that's actually made, then you can explain how you turn it down and uh, justifies the price, or helps justify the price that these are all handmade. Same thing goes with a Celtic knot. If you're doing a Celtic knot pen, this looks like it could just be painted on. Um, this is a closed in Churchill. Um, I like to have a piece of wood. This is coca bola with maple, and I'll show the process of how I actually make a Celtic knot from beginning, the middle, to the end. Um, so anyway, so they could see that that is a real knot. And over here, I don't know if you can tell or not on the camera, but uh, you can see how that knot is cut through on one side and not cl closed or complete on the other side and all the way around. So it's, and keep those balanced. When a customer is looking at a, a Celtic knot, uh, you see some people posting uh, 
their pens, their Celtic knots, and everything is crooked and offline, uh, make sure those are balanced because the next guy at the next table, if he's doing this, chances are his are going to be balanced if you're new. So make sure your stuff looks as good as could possibly look. Before you even start selling, go check out a few shows and see what other people are selling. This is a close-up view of that Celtic knot that I talked about earlier. What's popular? Don't make a whole bunch of the same kits that a bunch of other people are making because uh, otherwise it just doesn't look good because you, what makes your stuff any better than someone else's? You need a way for your stuff to stand out and better pricing. You don't want to undercut your work to be able to uh, to try and sell from the next guy. I've seen some people sell for basically, you know, uh, trying to sell pens for 10, 15 bucks. I wouldn't even bother. That's why I haven't sold in years. So anyway, um, well, that and a back injury. Uh, those are some kits there, some tips. I like uh, cigar cases nice and easy to pack like I said so those are those are great another thing that I like to do is I like to have a lot of refills on hand when I sell a pen I give them a refill I'll show them how the pen works you know I'll demonstrate how you take it apart where the refill is where they can buy a new refill tell them don't lose the spring because you don't have springs available you know put that back together ask them what color ink do they like have a variety of ink uh, have black or blue most uh, men go with black women like blue so have either or on hand because women buy as much as men do and try and have pens uh, you know a good balance of pens made for men and women so anyway those are a couple tips there and also have little things like I've shared in the past have some uh, guitar picks available made with off cuts you know these are 10 bucks each for a segmented uh, guitar pick really cool people love them not everyone plays a guitar but everyone knows someone who plays a guitar so this would end up in a scrap pile takes you 10 minutes to make and uh, that's an extra 10 bucks that's 60 bucks an hour great who doesn't like that okay so extra uh, extra ink have those on hand another thing have your shingle available uh, this I have clipped to my easy up right on top or they can see it so people walk up they can see what I'm selling they can see oh okay I'm legitimate I have a website I have an email you know okay so then they'll know that I've been around for a while or, or whatever so that's always good to have a shingle it makes you look a little bit more professional and uh, make sure you let them know that you take square or whatever payment, Apple payment, you know, whatever kind of uh, payment that is out there is necessary. If not everyone carries cash, cash is obviously preferred, but make that option available to them. Have a couple of chairs to sit in. Always work with a person. Uh, whenever I would do it, my wife would sell with me. I have a couple of chairs and I would always put down a big piece of carpet. Uh, 10 by 10 to fit under my easy up, you know, on top of all my stuff. Uh, if the floor is dirty, you know, or the ground is dirty outside or whatever, it's always nice to have a nice piece of carpet. And that extra, uh, extra carpet, if it's a hot day, prevents that heat from the asphalt from coming up and making it even hotter on you. And it's more comfortable standing on carpet than standing on asphalt. 
that is something I found out to be really huge. Uh, of course, you want to stay hydrated, keep plenty of water and things like that. And um, anyway, if you found any of these tips helpful, give me a thumbs up and we'll see you in the next video. Happy New Year. Hey, this is Gabriel Castro. Thanks for watching my YouTube channel. You can click on the link right here and subscribe. You can watch a video series right here or the latest video right here.